the nationals, and he took it all over the country, and it was shown all over, so it, 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 it got a lot of publicity. When he brought it back, it was a little bit worn from being driven in parades and things like that, and, and, uh, and I drove it for a couple of years, put it in the shed, and there it deteriorated. Rod and Custom Magazine ran an article with a picture of my car on the cover of their magazine. I wrote them a letter and told them that I still had the car, and they kind of motivated me. They said that I should quit watching the Green Bay Packers in Wisconsin and get the car back the way it was on the cover of their magazine, which I spent about a year and a half, I guess, and I did. Now I've shown the car with George Barris's cars. I've shown it with uh, Darrell Starbird's cars. Uh, I've known George and Darrell for years. I knew Big Danny Rolfe. Of all the people I've met through the years, the car doesn't really mean that much. It's the, it's, it's the people that I met, the real hot riders from years ago who, who, were, who, who weren't doing it for, as a profession. They were doing it because they loved the car. They wanted a hot rod to drive. I started showing this car in 1959. In my lifetime, I've hauled truckloads of trophies to the dump. If I have to mention people, I have to mention Dave Poole, Her, uh, Herb Barenbrook, uh, uh, Al Borsty. All these guys uh, built, built cars at, that I showed against. Dave Poole brought uh, great cars to the shows. He, he ran a, a place called the Trend Automotive. He built the Trend Arrow, which is, good, I understand, being rebuilt. A lot of these uh, cars are what they call uh, survivors. I think mine is a, is, a, is a heck of a survivor. They used to give everybody a name for their car, like the Trend Arrow or the, or the Sorcerer or, or any, any, any of those cars. And uh, this car here, I, was, I never had much money in it. And they said, you ought to call it Little Doll. About 16, between my 16th and 17th year, a friend of mine bought a 40 Ford Coupe. A nice one, nice clean driving car. And he decided that he wanted to have a chopped car. So he cut the top off of his coupe, knocked the windows out of it and cut the top off of it. That's as far as he got. And I thought that you know, everybody else in high school was, was football hero or something. I'm going to be the car hero. So I, I bought the car from him with the top cut off it. And he cut it in the wrong places, believe me. But I, I didn't know quite what to do. I, I, I had welded a little bit. And I took the car to a friend of mine, body shop, and I asked if I could get a job. And, and if I could have a place in his body shop for the car. And he said yes. And, and I worked for him nights cleaning up and stuff. And then when I got done, I'd get my car out and I'd start welding on it. And next morning, he'd tell me what I did wrong, break the weld apart, <laughs> and, and I'd start over again. I hammer welded the top on it, back on it again. We chopped it so low, I forget the dimensions, but we chopped it so low that at the time my girlfriend couldn't get her 10 cent root beer in. And through the through the window, I finished the car up, painted it cerulean blue. It was a nice car. I, I built uh, a friend of mine and I together. I, I have to give Orville Leisky credit. Uh, he he and I built the engine up. I, I drove it for several years. I drove it back and forth to work, and I sold the car to a local young man whose dad ran a tavern. He hit the bridge, wrecked it. And I never saw the car for years and years and years. And just uh, within the last four or five years, someone pulled it out of a garage in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin, and sold it on eBay for $24,000. And, and I'm sure it was my car. I didn't see it, but I'm sure it was my car. It would be the only chop the channel 44 group. I appreciate you guys coming over and, and, and thinking of me. I, 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 uh, I, I don't think I'm that important that you guys should have to do this, but it was sure nice that, that you came. I hope you enjoyed your, your stay here with my, in my little shop, and uh, I hope you come back again.